If you go for a hike in a forest, you're bound to run into various wild animals. Unfortunately, most people are not trained on how to protect themselves from an animal attack, causing some encounters to be fatal. When we step into the wild, the only power we have is our knowledge. We can't physically fight our way out of a bear, lion, or alligator attack, but we can outsmart them. And believe it or not, there are some simple things you can do to stay safe. So, what do you do if you come face to face with a dangerous wild animal? In order to prepare you for any situation, we have collected the best proven techniques from scientific studies and wildlife experts to help you survive a deadly battle with an animal. Bears Bears are usually a threat only when surprised or when they are protecting their cubs. In fact, over 70% of all fatal grizzly bear attacks are by mothers who want to protect their cubs. If you encounter a bear at a distance, slowly back away. If you surprise one, do not run. If you run, you will look like a prey, and it may trigger a chase response from the animal. Most wild animals like to chase out of instinct, and if you think you can outrun a bear, think again. Bears can run at speeds of 30 miles per hour, while the fastest human on record reached just under 28 miles per hour. If a bear charges, stand your ground and begin spraying it when it is about 50 feet away. You have only a few seconds to fire. Research has shown that bear spray is 92% effective in deterring attacks from these animals. If you don't have a bear spray and you end up on a date with a grizzly bear, play dead. Grizzlies will stop attacking when they feel you're no longer a threat. Fall to the ground, lay flat on your stomach with your hands clasped behind your neck. Spread your legs to make it harder for the bear to turn you over. According to a study on bear attacks, bears may toss around the victim who is playing dead, but if the victim can lay still, they're likely to survive the attack. With black bears, though, it's different. Don't try to play dead. They don't fall for that. Your best bet is to make yourself look big and fight back using any object available. Concentrate your kicks and blows on the bear's face and muzzle. And don't try to climb a tree, since both black and grizzly bears can climb that tree faster than you can. It's important to remember that while most bear attacks occur because the bears want to defend themselves or their cubs, there are times that they attack to hunt you. Pretty much all scientific guides agree that if the bear sees you as food, you should fight. This is often the case with polar bears. To a polar bear, you're a prey at first sight. Strike back by aiming for the nose or eyes, and don't play dead. Snakes Most snakes are neither venomous nor dangerous. These creatures don't generally attack unless provoked, so it's best to leave them be. If you notice a snake is following you, stomp your feet hard on the ground. Although the snake will not hear the noise, the vibrations the stomping makes will scare it off. If you do get bit, don't try to suck the venom out of the wound as they show in movies. Research has shown that this method isn't effective. It only allows you to remove 2% of the poison. Even worse, if you have an open wound in your mouth, the venom could spread in your bloodstream even faster. And don't apply tourniquet to stop the poison from spreading. Studies suggest that applying a tourniquet does nothing to help the victim. Even worse, it increases the chance of gangrene, which means the concentrated venom near the bite will rapidly destroy cells. It usually ends with the victim losing a limb. Slashing the wound with a knife isn't going to help either. While it's easier said than done, staying calm and still after a snake bite will prevent your heart from pumping fast and spreading the venom in your body. If you've been bitten by a poisonous snake, not moving might save your life. Lay or sit down with the bite below the level of the heart. Wash the wound with warm soapy water and immediately call an emergency. Sharks to prevent a shark attack, scientists from the University of Florida recommend not swimming at dawn, dusk, or night. Sharks are most active at these times, and unlike you, they are able to see in the dark. Don't allow blood to get into the water. Sharks can smell it from miles away. If you're wounded, leave the water. And remember not to make irregular sounds, like those made by an injured fish swimming or splashing around. Research has shown that sound, rather than sight or smell, is a shark's primary cue for moving into an area. If you see a shark face to face but the shark is not attacking you, stay still. Don't make a splash and don't escape in a panic. 
You look like prey this way, and erratic movements attract sharks. Move very slowly and wait for the shark to swim away. If a shark is actively attacking you, claw at its eyes and gills as these zones are the most sensitive. Alligators or crocodiles. These animals prefer freshwater lakes and slow moving rivers and can hold their breath underwater for 1 to 24 hours. The jaws of these creatures are the strongest on the planet, so trying to open its mouth with your hands isn't going to work. Don't let their short legs fool you. These animals can swim up to 20 miles per hour and can run up to 11 miles per hour. If you see a crocodile while swimming, don't make splashes and don't shout. It'll only draw attention. Try to be as calm as you can and quietly swim away. If a crocodile grabs you, hit its eyes. The eyes and throat of these animals are extra vulnerable and definitely don't play dead. Bees. When hiking in the wilderness where there are going to be bees, wear light colored clothing. Dark colored clothing appears more threatening to bees. This is because dark clothes resemble the fur of their natural predators like bears and skunks. So if you wear a black shirt, your chances of getting stung are higher. And try to avoid strongly scented shampoo, soaps, and perfumes. According to Japanese scientists from Tamagawa University, perfume has scent that angers bees. Lions If you have encountered a lion, maintain eye contact and don't run. Try to look massive by raising your arms and opening your jacket. Doing this will make a lion think that you are stronger than it. Slowly wave your arms, speak firmly, and throw items at the lion if necessary. Normally, the lion will move on. You should be confident when facing a lion, so the animal perceives your presence threatening and avoid the encounter. Never crouch down or bend over. Biologists surmise lions don't recognize standing humans as prey. Should the lion charge you, you still must not run. This will obviously be difficult. It should not surprise you that a lion is way faster than you, and lions like to attack from behind. Most charges are mock charges, so stay still. Mosquitoes Research has shown that mosquitoes are attracted to the color black. If you're wearing dark colors, your chances of being stung by these insects are much higher. Apart from vision, mosquitoes locate us by tracking down the carbon dioxide we emit. As we exercise and exhale more excessively, our body gives off more heat, sweat, and carbon dioxide, which attracts more mosquitoes. Mosquitoes prefer cooler and shaded areas as opposed to direct sunlight. So to make yourself less attractive to these insects, dress in white and don't step in the wild during dawn and dusk when mosquitoes are the most active. And remember, many studies have shown that those with blood type O are almost twice as attractive to mosquitoes. Bulls Opposite to the common misconception, bulls react to movements and not to the red color. In fact, bulls are colorblind and can't distinguish the red color. So, if a bull is running at you, stand still and straight. Use your jacket, t-shirt, or other clothes as bait. When the bull gets close enough, throw that object away. The animal will change direction and follow that object. Jellyfish Jellyfish sting so that they can catch and eat other sea creatures. But that sting can be turned on you if you brush against them while swimming in the ocean. Some people believe that peeing on the bitten zone can relieve the pain, but it's just a myth. If you do find yourself with a jellyfish burn, rinse the area with vinegar or soak the skin in hot water. After that, use tweezers to pull off any tentacles still on your skin. Elephant Attack Elephants are friendly and intelligent animals, but they are known to attack people. It's especially true about female elephant mothers who perceive you as a threat to their babies. Since elephants can run up to 25 miles an hour, you have little chance about running them. If you come across an elephant, it's best to read their body language and get signals early. If their ears are pinned back and the trunk is curved inwardly, it means they are going to attack you. If you're on foot, try to find a barrier between you and the elephant. This could be a big tree, vehicle, or building. If there is no barrier around, run in a zigzag pattern. It's difficult for elephants to change directions because of their heavy size. Rhinos Rhinos' eyesight is one of the worst in the animal kingdom, up there with bulls and bats. Their speed can reach 
38 miles per hour, which is why it's hard to outrun them. The best way to escape from a rhino is to hide behind a large tree or rock. It's a major barrier for these animals. You can also climb a tree if there's one nearby. Remember that rhinos can't see very well, so if you're stood fairly still and don't seem to be a threat, they may mistake you for a tree and keep grazing. Running in a zigzag pattern is also recommended. You can change directions much faster than a rhino. If the rhino misses while it is chasing you, turn and run in the opposite direction. They will rarely follow you. Kangaroo Believe it or not, kangaroos can pose a threat to humans. This often happens when you enter their territory. If a kangaroo approaches you, let the animal know you are not a threat by giving a short, deep cough. Subdominant male kangaroos acknowledge the dominant male's status by giving a short cough. If there is no cough response, a fight may result. Make sure to not stand tall and face the animal because it might be interpreted as a challenge to fight. You need to crouch down low, turn side on, and back away slowly. This way, you'll look smaller and less of a threat. Remember, turning your back on a kangaroo and running could be dangerous, as they can easily outrun you and still kick at the same time.